Teams passing on first down. We've been banging on the table for it. A lot of people have been banging on the table for it, quite frankly. And we're here to look at, through week five, where do we sit? Are teams passing more on first down? And are there some situations that are maybe a little more advantageous that teams are taking advantage of? We are brought to you, of course, by mybookie.ag. It is the only place to go to make all of your NFL investments or college football, if that's your thing. They offer every bet type that you could possibly want. Their customer service is second to none. They make it easy to cash out. And what we like the most, they have in-game live betting. So make sure you head over to mybookie.ag. Use promo code PFF to get a dollar for dollar match on your first deposit. It's real simple. Get your information here at PFF. Go to mybookie.ag. Play, win, and get paid. All right, Eric. Let's start with just passing on first and 10 in general. Something that we know to be more efficient. Your EPA, your expected points added per play, how much you improve your probability of scoring on a given play, it's just simply better to pass on first and 10. Yeah, more than 50% of first down passes are successful. There's more than uh, a zero you know, expected points on those plays, that, right? It gets you closer to scoring. Whereas running the football gets you further away uh, through from 2006 to 2017, negative 0.11 expected points for running the ball on first and 10. It's about that, about that same rate this year, but teams are throwing the ball more on first and 10 and hence, we're getting more efficiency on a per play basis there. So let's start with just all first and tens, right? Let's not worry about specific scenarios. Last season, or actually from last season all the way back to 2006, teams were passing on first and 10 about 50% of the time, so yep. about half and half, despite the huge boost in efficiency that passing on first and 10 gives you. This year, what's it at? Yeah, it's just, you know, it's just above 54%, so it's representing a 4 to 5% increase in passing the ball on first and 10. And we're seeing an increase in efficiency on those plays too, 0.07 expected points added versus 0.02 uh, for previous years. So we're not only seeing it more, we're seeing it better. Okay, so let's move to a scenario now that I think is interesting. Yeah. You are on third and long, say third and seven or more, you convert, you get your first down, Maybe you go no huddle, whatever you do, you're now in this new first and 10 situation. And the question to you is this, are teams changing their strategy at all? Are they going a little more pass heavy having just converted that third and seven? Yeah, I think we wouldn't be able to detect this with the naked eye, but we are seeing over the course of the PFF Eric teams prior to this year, we're running the ball marginally more uh, on first downs after third and seven or more conversions via the pass. And it makes some sense, right? The quarterback's a little tired. He just had to scan the field and, and make a huge conversion. But we see 48.7% of plays were passes after those conversions. And, you know, it's not that runs are more efficient in those, in those areas, not that passes are that much more inefficient, but we are seeing teams sort of pull their chips back after they win a hand. This season, 58.1% of those plays are passes. Teams are doubling down uh, on their passing efficiency after converting long third downs. Maybe it's just people are getting in shape. It's the TB12 method affecting the entire league. Whatever it is though, it's very interesting because 10% certainly not you know, nominal in any way, not trivial in any way. And what's interesting is over those you know, past 10, 11 seasons, we saw that after a third and seven conversion, the run pass rate, the pass rate was less than on all first and tens, right? Yep. And now this year it's actually increasing. So we see about a four to 5% bump after those conversions, not to mention just the 10% difference between where teams were at in terms of passing after those conversions the previous 11 seasons and now in 2018. So I think a lot of it has got to be, look, people are starting to realize that passing the ball on early downs is advantageous. And particularly once they've gotten the ball rolling, they're more you know, readily available to just sort of put some more chips in the table on the passing game. Yeah, the team the defenses might be sort of relaxing either implicitly or knowing that the data was this way going into the season yep. and offenses are getting an extra boost there. Um, interestingly, running in those situations has never been less valuable, dumping almost a fifth of an expected point when you run after converting a long pass. So teams are sort of moving in the right direction from an efficiency perspective and it starts with passing more. And, you know, maybe use play action too. <laughs> Just a helpful hint. All right, we'll be back later in the week with some more interesting nuggets from this season so far. Until then, you can check us out at profootballfocus.com and check us out in our podcast, The PFF Forecast. We'll see you guys later this week.